Okay, it's 42 days of keto chow. Today is day 22, because I'm half, more, than, more than halfway done. Um, today I'm starting on macadamia nut oil. And I got a couple of tests from the, the place that we're having doing the mixing up. They're using actual product that we're going to be making version 2.1 with. Um, and we're testing out the colors and the all the different ingredients to make sure everything is just right. But... They messed up on the coloring. <laughs> this is supposed to be toffee colored, but it's not. Instead, it's purple. <laughs> it still tastes the same, except that today I started macadamia nut oil. And now grapeseed oil didn't taste like anything at all. And I'm going with macadamia nut oil because it has the highest amount of polyunsaturated I'm sorry, of, of monounsaturated fatty acids of any oil I could find. Um, it's really, really high. Got to fix my tag. Um, anyway, this tastes like macadamia nuts. It's actually pretty good. I, I quite like it. The problem is I uh, was supposed to be validating that everything tastes fine in these. And I, I can't really compare it. <laughs> Because I, I don't have a good frame of reference between this and um, what the what it tastes like with heavy cream or avocado oil. So that's going to be problematic. I'm actually going to have to mix up one of the ones that I got from them um, and compare it to one that I made myself using my own ingredients and see if they match up. Um, the... Uh, magnesium that they were using. I think they grabbed the rat, the wrong one out of a different bag. Um, it's supposed to be magnesium malate. And I think that they grabbed magnesium citrate because it, it added a really sour flavor that isn't supposed to be there. Um, and on that matter, uh, magnesium. Let's talk about magnesium for a second. Um, my entire family, at least my, my mom, get it from her, and one of my brothers, we have a extraordinarily high requirement for magnesium much higher than the recommended daily allowance so without that well the first time I ever really noticed a problem was um, it was in 2015 we were going on a we went on a vacation with my parents to Oregon 2015 oh actually that might, that might have been 2016 anyway we went to Oregon um, and I had been taking some magnesium. No, I hadn't been taking magnesium yet. So um, we went on vacation to Oregon. We actually did a big loop. Um, we went up to the California coast through Oregon and then back through um, Idaho. It was like a thousand something or other miles. I, I actually calculated how much gas we burned. It was some extraordinary amount because we were driving a uh, Ford excursion and pulling a trailer. And yeah, it was, anyway, it was a great trip. First two week vacation I had ever taken. Um, and while on it, I started to get really bad cramps in my uh, quadriceps. And I, I, I figured out pretty quickly that it was magnesium. Um, but yeah, Ever since then, I've been taking a magnesium supplement, and I've, I've preferred magnesium malate because magnesium citrate in high doses is it's actually what you use uh, for a, uh, a diuretic. Oh my gosh. Thing that makes you go to the bathroom. Laxative. <laughs> it's what makes it, it functions as a laxative in high doses. Which can be problematic because, well, when you do a keto diet, whether you're doing keto chow or not, um, you're changing around the nutrients that are in your gut. And your gut bacteria is kind of sensitive to that sort of thing. Now, normally people eat a variety of different things. But when you elim completely eliminate carbohydrates from your diet, the bacteria that likes carbohydrates, well, first off, it's going to send you signals that, hey, Whoa, I want some of that, which I personally think is responsible for a lot of the cravings that people get at the beginning for carbs. It's your it's gut bacteria screaming for carbs. 
plus your cells want carbs and things like that. So, but anyway, I, I, it's my, I think that they start to die off and that causes, let's call it loose stools or just flat out you have diarrhea when you usually, you, when a lot of people start keto, they get diarrhea. Um, when you start a liquid diet like keto chow on top of that, well, you're getting the typical effects of starting a keto diet, plus you're doing a liquid diet. Um, inversions up to 2.1, so 2 point, uh, well, let's go back, 0.9 up through 2.0, 0 0.2, um, those all used uh, magnesium citrate. Now, it shouldn't have been a sufficient amount to cause a laxative effect, but in some people it probably did. So to fight that and ameliorate the issue, um, we're switching to magnesium malate because it does not have the laxative effect, and it's a better bioavailable form of magnesium. Um, most magnesium supplements if, for instance, when I went on a river trip with my dad, I brought, I thought I had brought enough magnesium pills, but I didn't. And the food that they were feeding us wasn't even close to keto, but it was, I was able to make do with, I, I had some keto chow with me that we would mix up and just drink right away. Um, but I started to get cramps and I got low electrolytes. Anyway, long story short, on the drive back, we actually stopped in Mesquite, Nevada at Smith's, and I tried to find some magnesium pills. And all of the magnesium pills I could find, every single one of them, was magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is the worst form of magnesium that you can get, bar none. Um, it's almost, it's bioavailability is extremely low. Um, I'll put the exact information into the uh, post, at least I'll try to remember, um, that accompanies this video, but it's, if I remember correctly, it's like, I think it's like 9% or something like that. I could be completely off. It's really low though. So, but and on the other hand, magnesium malate, uh, magnesium oxide is the most concentrated form of magnesium. So if you take I, I think it's something like if you take a thousand milligrams of magnesium oxide on the label, it's going to show up that it has like, I think it's like 700 milligrams of magnesium in that. And so people were like, oh great, this little pill has a lot of magnesium. It does, but it's bound up in a, uh, an oxide that your body can barely process. Um, a better form of magnesium, well, you've got a magnesium citrate, which is quite bioavailable, but there's the laxative effect problem. Um, you have magnesium, what I'm trying to remember what it is, magnesium sulfate, also known as uh, Epsom salts. Epsom salts are uh, actually a pretty cool thing. You you know mix them up in a bath take a bath and your skin will absorb magnesium. That is why Epsom salts are used to relax muscles and that sort of thing. Because magnesium is what your body uses to, you know, you send a, a signal to your muscle that you want to flex. Then when you want to relax that, it uses the magnesium, among other things. But that's the simplified version. And if you don't have enough magnesium, then your muscles can't relax. And that's why I start to get cramps because my, the muscles won't relax. And so, yeah, Epsom salts are a good way. If you are low on, ep, on magnesium, take an Epsom salt bath. I did when I got back from that river trip. It's like the first thing I did. Um, I also took a bunch of magnesium malate pills. Now, magnesium malate is an amino acid chelate, and I might have pronounced that wrong. Anyway, you bind magnesium to an amino acid, and that's you have a bunch of different ones. Um, you've got uh, gluconate and glycinate, and they're just all the different forms of, uh, of amino acids. And malic acid is one of those. And so you've got magnesium malate. And everything I've seen shows that magnesium malate is one of the better forms to get. I never used it 
in previous um, recipes because while well, I was using magnesium citrate before because it was easily available in powder form. Magnesium malate, on the other hand, is very, oh my nose, it just, ah, is very difficult to get in powdered form unless you're buying several hundred kilograms of it. You know, we're talking industrial quantities. And up until version 2.0, I wasn't doing industrial quantities. Well, for a lot of the ingredients, I guess I could have done 1.9. I was buying industrial quantities of pot uh, potassium citrate, so whatever. But anyway, um, but I wasn't, I just wasn't doing that yet. And so I was having my vitamin mineral, you know, zitching again, the people who do my vitamin mineral mixture, um, they were, and along with all the other minerals, I was having them put in magnesium citrate and uh, choline bitartrate, choline L bitartrate. There's another form of choline, it's choline DL bitartrate, and it will cause necrosis of the kidneys, which is bad. The problem is, anywhere you go to buy choline, it's very difficult to buy choline L bitartrate. They always want to sell you DL bitartrate because it's cheaper. Um, in Europe, you can't buy DL bitartrate because of the aforementioned necrosis of the kidneys. It's actually really bad for you and dangerous, but people can still buy it here in the United States, and so that's the only thing you can get. But my vitamin and mineral producer, they were able to get L, so we were using L. Um, with version 2.1, oh my gosh, my nose itches so bad. With uh, version 2.1, we uncoupled the magnesium and the choline from the vitamin mixture um, just to, well, it's, it's going to save on costs, and it allows us to use magnesium malate. Anyway, so <laughs> that's magnesium. Um, oh, and, um, oh, sheesh. You're just going to sit here and watch me scratch my nose. Ah. Um, in version 2.1, uh, for purely self-serving and selfish reasons, I'm increasing the amount of magnesium in 2.1 over version 2.0. And that's simply because I don't want to have to take my magnesium malate pill anymore. So you all will get the benefit. Um, it's actually still a good thing. More magnesium is always more better, especially with the ketogenic diet. Uh, more potassium, more salt. I'm not going to increase the amount of salt because it can be off-putting to new users to have it that salty. I usually actually put some salt into my keto chow because I've been at it for a while and I like the salt. Just like I put salt in my four dollar water um anyway so there is an increased amount of magnesium in version 2.1 the magnesium malate pills that i have been taking um, they actually each one of them has a gram of maltodextrin in them i don't know why it's stupid but they felt it and it would have made the pills half the size anyway so yeah, that's it. That's the update for today. Um, we'll catch you tomorrow.